Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. We have an awesome, awesome Savlar Chemdogs Kill Team commission showcase for you guys to check out today. Really, really great selection of miniatures. You've got some Ogrins in there, got some Imperial Guard infantry in there, got some awesome Rough Rider bikers in there. Um, just some really, really cool models that our client has asked us to paint up for him uh, as a uh, Savlar Chemdogs Kill Team. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Savlar Chemdogs, they are a uh, regiment of the Imperial Guard slash Astra Militarum. Really, really cool background and narrative. You definitely should check them out. I'll put a link to the Lexicon um, description about them below you should definitely have a look at that uh, so let's jump in and have a look at them starting with some of the awesome little miniatures that this force has got we'll start with the regular infantry now this whole project has been completed by ben one of the artists here at siege um, done a really really good job of giving them that gritty rough uh, sort of feel that you'd expect with uh, with this sort of uh, faction of uh, imperial guards um, they tend to be a lot of scavengers have prisoners all that kind of uh, background in them and uh, it's really really well conveyed in these miniatures with this super super sort of rough neck kind of like a appearance and feel to them Ben's done a great job picking out all the little details making them very weathered and battered uh, as that's the sort of background to them we've got nice some nice chevrons and things on canisters on the shoulder guard and things uh, on top of that as well just really nice red casings on the weapons just to really denote those and make those uh, complement the rest of the colour palette on the miniatures extremely well so that's just the first guy we'll have a look at this chap here with a melter gun uh, got a lovely set of green shades on uh, just to complement that red casing on the gun which is really nice so that's just this awesome melter gunner uh, ready to uh, give someone a very very bad day uh, so that's just him uh, next let's have a look at the awesome banner bearer from this kill team again really really cool banner that Ben's done lovely deep uh, rich tones on the uh, sort of uh, shadowed areas of the banner got 13 written on there some text and things on the purity seals uh, moving around obviously the other side of the banner you can see there just really really it says chem dogs just on the banner um, again you've got the really nice rich tones on that banner um, again there's some sh sort of chevrons on his sort of ankle kind of guards just uh, keeping those ankles safe uh, or they could be very dangerous ankles one or the other um, you've got this awesome awesome banner bearer uh, and then we're going to have a look at the uh, two bikers which again are really cool models obviously part of the sort of kit bash from the GSC kit uh, so the Gene City Cult uh, bike uh, kit uh, the bike's done in this really cool sort of military green kind of colourway which I just think works extremely well nice desaturated green on there uh, obviously all the yellow lights and everything done on the bikes I love the way this guy is like executing someone as he's driving by it's really cool all the little cables and things done with chevrons just on his armour uh, the little lights and things all painted he's got a, a cheeky sort of uh, sort of uh, machete there just uh, tucked away behind him uh, just to give someone uh, uh, just uh, maybe lop someone's head off as he, as he drives by uh, but again the bike is very uh, sort of muddied and uh, sort of uh, weathered up which is quite cool you've got the little uh, screens and things all painted on the bike there as you can see so that's just the first guy uh, do love that sawn off shotgun and then the next guy here just uh, just sort of doing a wheelie a uh, little trick while he's uh, about to give someone a whack with his hatchet um, again the bike's done in this really cool military kind of style green which just works extremely well all the sort of satchels and stowage on the bike all sort of weathered and dirtied as well to match the overall sort of weathered appearance of the uh, the, the Savlar chem dogs that you'd expect from them based off on their background all the lights and everything painted there as you can see the visors and lenses all done so that's just this awesome bike a little screen done on that sort of uh, charge or mining charge or whatever it is all painted as if it's gloving as well which is quite nice uh, so that's this awesome biker uh, then we're gonna go and jump straight in and have a look at their best friends these two little dogs uh, just to go with them really really cool little miniatures here just done with all the little armor flak plates on them as well which I think just works quite nicely all the teeth and eyes and everything all fully painted on these so that's just the first one then we've got the other one that's just carrying uh, sort of medical uh, satchel there as you can see Plus some extra sort of Laz uh, mags, plus a knife and some bits and bobs. Uh, just a faithful friend for these Savlark M dogs. Uh, then we have to finish off two awesome Ogrins that I really, really do love what Ben has done on these. So right from the get-go, you can see that massive shield that's just all weathered uh, with rust and everything done on there. Um, you've got the really, really lovely skin tone done on these Ogrins just to show off that muscular structure. Nice subtle sort of energy glow on the uh, sort of maul that he's got there. 
And then moving around the back, you can see all the uh, attention to detail on the muscular sort of skin area. Just really nice, subtle red undertones in the flesh as well, which I do really like. The rear of the shield just having a little bit of weathering and um, rusting effects done on it as well. Uh, and there's a couple of little uh, sort of tattoos that this guy's got, and I'll show you them better on the next one, just coming up emphasis shortly. Uh, so let's have a look at this awesome, awesome converted Ogryn. I love the uh, sort of blast shield on the uh, the gun there, just really works. And uh, lovely little conversion and uh, extra barrel addition to the gun just to really make this uh, ripper gun look uh, very very mean um, Ben's done a great job of adding these transfers onto the skin and then glazing over those uh, to create uh, the tattoo on the miniature which just works really well um, they look just subtly uh, dull just to match in quite nicely but you've got quite a few uh, really really cool little details on this guy obviously he's got his green lenses on his uh, rebreather or gas mask uh, again he's got a wolf tattoo there an axe and then mortis just tattooed right across his shoulder blades uh, just uh, to the uh, bringer of death so to speak uh, but again a really really cool Ogryn just to complement and finish off this phenomenal Savlar Chemdog's kill team for our clients uh, we have done some previous Savlar models for this client so if you are interested in those have a look on the channel uh, or we'll put a link in the description of this video also these guys are off now to go and purge another threat hope you like them out so much So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.